Hello everyone, welcome back to another video lesson. Today's lesson for grade 5, chapter 11, lesson 8. Uh, display measurement data on a line plot. Page number is 845. Before starting today's lesson, guys, don't forget to subscribe my channel, Learn Math with Mr. Saad, and also press the bell icon to get notified for every new video. Okay, let us start today's lesson. Uh, in this lesson, guys, look at this first example here. Six friends shared several foot long submarine sandwiches. The table shows this table, the amount each friend ate. Make a line plot of the lengths in the table. Now they give you this, there are six friends, each of them ate this much of sandwich, like the first one ate one third, one third, one third, then the fourth one half, and then the fifth one quarter, and sixth one quarter. You guys have to show this data on a line plot. Okay, so first of all, you have to count how many one fours you have. Two, wrote it two here. How many one thirds? One, two, three. Three here, and how many halves? One. Okay. Now, what you guys have to do, you can see that you have all the fractions here. No mixed number. Okay. And all of our fractions are in between 0 and 1. Got it? So here we draw a line. Okay. And we started the line with the 0 and ends it with 1. You guys have to draw it by yourself in next questions. So understand it carefully. In between, it's half. Okay. And then from this half to 0, in between this, there is a quarter okay and of course uh, after it one third now you will put the number of crosses how many one how many halves were there one and how many one thirds three so you put three crosses and how many quarters two so you put two crosses that's it uh, guys if you have mixed number here let's say you have two here Two whole one over three then you will start your line with two and the next number of two is three okay because it's mixed but here we have all fractions so all of our fractions are in between zero and one so we started our line with zero and ends it with one and then in between we put our fractions in the middle half then from this half to zero in the middle quarter and then here one third okay now let us find out fair share in the last example you guys saw that uh, uh, for example six friends ate uh, sandwich and how much each one ate and how many friends ate this much so you share show the data online for me. but you can find the fair share or the amount each friend would receive if the sandwiches were divided equally let's say they divide the sandwiches equally so how much each friend will get that is known as fair share so how we find the fair share look at this one now what we do actually we add all the data okay how we add first let us go back to that question here we add all that fractions got it guys one third one third and one third so one you guys know how to add the fractions we don't add the denominators just the numerators so first add the fractions with the same denominators one 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 that is three over three okay let me write it for you guys here Why these lines? Okay. 3 over 3, that is equal to 1. For these 3, okay. This is half, okay. 1, 4, 1, 4. Add these 1, 4, 1, 4, it will become 2 over 4. When you simplify it, 
1 over 2 now this half and half it will become 2 over 2 which is equal to 1 so we get 1 from here and 1 from this one so the total sandwiches were 2 1 and 1 2 2 whole number okay now what we do we found that the whole number is 2 when we added all the fractions first you can add the uh, the fractions with the same denominators and then add their answers or you can make the denominator same of all the fractions and then add it whatever the way you like okay so when we add it we get two whole sandwiches were eaten and how many friends were there six so we will divide two by six okay or if they give you the line plot, you can count the number of crosses. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So there were two sandwiches, 2 divided by 6. Uh, you can write it like this, 2 over 6. It is, when you simplify it, 1 over 3. Here is it. Got it, guys? Okay. Let us go down to the next question. Okay, here from 0 to 1 in between half and from in between these 1 over 4. How many 1 over 4? 1, 2, 3, and 4. So 4 crosses. How many halves? 1, 2, 3, 4. So 4 crosses. When you add all these fractions, you will get 3. So fair share is 3. And from where we bring this 8, how many number of crosses total? 8. So 3 over 8, get it. again here from 0 to 1 how many halves count the number of halves put the crosses count the numbers from here and put the number of crosses okay and to find the fair share first you add all the fractions the easy way to add guys uh, add the, the, the fractions with the same denominator first and write the answers okay and then at the end add it collectively so from where we bring this denominator 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 12 and when you add all of them you will get 5 here in the next question you see uh, when you add all of them you will get 3 okay 3 and the denominator should be the total numbers here 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 so 3 over 9 and then you guys know you have to simplify it divide by 3 up divide by 3 down 1 third quart okay I hope you guys understand the lesson solve the next questions by yourself and uh, then match your answers from this video Here they give you uh, the rainfall in inches and they want you to write it in uh, feet. So you know when you convert from inches to feet, one foot is equal to 12 inches. And you are converting from a smaller one to larger one, so you will divide by 12. 12 divide 12, 1, 6 divide 12, then you simplify it, 6 over 12 and then half okay zero similarly 2 over 12 it will be 1 over 6 3 over 12 when you simplify it it will be 1 over 4 4 over 12 will be one third and then we'll put the number of same crosses here and the fair share when you add it and then write the total number of crosses in the denominator and then simplify it I hope you guys understand the lesson. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe my channel, Learn Math with Mr. Saad. And also send me the homeworks through Pioneer. Thank you so much, guys. Have a nice day.